Hello, welcome to Cello Tuesdays. I'm Diane Chaplin, and this month's program is called Days of Awe. This is a reference to the 10 days on the Jewish calendar between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, during which time Jews are asked to take stock of how their year has gone and to examine how their behavior has been, to make amends, to ask for forgiveness to directly to people or to God for things that they maybe have done that were not the best behavior through that year, uh, and to also offer forgiveness to those who have wronged them. And this it culminates at Yom Kippur, which begins uh, for me in an hour. Jewish days begin at sunset. So in about an hour, it will be sunset and Yom Kippur will begin here on the West Coast. So I'm doing this program specifically so that I will be done before the official day of Yom Kippur. And the beginning of the Yom Kippur observance uh, consists of a uh, set of vows that are said, which is called kol nidre. And many of you will recognize those words kol nidre, even if you don't know anything about Jewish synagogue services, because the composer Max Bruch in 1881 wrote a very famous cello piece, which goes like this. <laughs> It's called Konidre. Uh, he was not Jewish. He heard this melody and he thought it was very beautiful and he wrote this piece which is based on the melody that we hear in the synagogue sort of but all synagogues do it a little bit differently and it, it is more of a his his version is more of a concert version of it. I'm going to play two versions of the Konidre this evening that are not the standard Max Bruch version. The first one was written by Louis Lewandowski in 1865, so about 15 years before Bruch wrote his version. Lewandowski was um, German-Polish, depending on what time you looked at the map. I think he was German when it was during his lifetime and it's Poland now, uh, but he was a Jewish composer, as are all of the composers on tonight's program. Everyone is Jewish. Uh, and he was noted for writing a, a large, large volume of music for synagogue services. He worked at the Neue Synagoga in Berlin for many, many years, and he also transcribed many ancient Hebrew melodies. Uh, so this is a Kol Nidre that was originally written for violin and piano, and this is my arrangement for cello. Kol Nidre by Louis Lewandowski. <laughs>
Next is a piece that is a companion piece to something called A Meditation on Kol Nidre, which was written by Ze'ev Falk. This piece is called A Prayer for Those Who Look Away. It was written in 2020 by Noam Fingold. Noam lives in Washington, D.C. He is a composer, conductor, teacher. <clears throat> and one of the interesting things about this piece is that the notations in the music, which are usually in Italian, things that say slow down, get softer here, are written in Ladino. Ladino is the Spanish-Hebrew hybrid that was kind of developed, I believe, uh, during the time of the conversos, after the Spanish Inquisition, when all the Spanish Jews had to pretend to be Christian so that they didn't get killed, and they kind of went underground with their Judaism, and Ladino developed, and if that's not correct, someone will write that in the chat and correct me on that. But it's, it's a um, language that's not spoken by very many people, and it's really cool to have Ladino in this part. Uh, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to, read the meditation on Kol Nidre by Ze'ev Falk, which is intended to be heard potentially during the uh, Kol Nidre service. And then I'll go right into A Prayer for Those Who Look Away by Noam Fangold. All the vows on our lips, the burdens in our hearts, the pent up regrets about which we brooded and spoke through prayers without end on last atonement day did not change our way of life did not bring deliverance in the year that has gone. From mountain peaks of fervor, we fell to common ways at the close of the fast. Will you hear our regret? Will you open our prison, release us from shackles of habit? Will you accept our prayers, forgive our wrongs, though we sin again and again? In moments of weakness, we do not remember promises of Atonement Day. Recall that we easily forget Take only our heart's intent. Forgive us, pardon us. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That was a prayer for those who look away by Noam Fingold. I'm checking to see if anyone uh, wrote else. Oh, Howard Patterson says Lidino is older than, than that, I believe. But we don't know. Maybe someone will write it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for these beautiful comments that I see. Um, so one of the things that, that I think all the pieces today share, in addition to just a lot of emotional depth, uh, is that they all kind of end in a sort of questioning manner. I find there's not strong endings on any of them. They, they sort of end with a question, which is very much what happens uh, for Jews all of the times of the year, but especially this time of the year. So the next piece is a, a work called Crepe School du Conidre by Gracian Finci. She is a French composer. She was born in Casablanca, and when she was aged 10, her family took her to live in Paris to study at the Paris Conservatoire. She is a, a composer and teacher in Paris. And so the, the, the word crepuscule, crepuscule du conidre, it, we have that same word in English. The crepuscular time is the twilight before conidre. Uh, and so for me, that's about 45 minutes. To, I am in right this moment. I am in the crepuscule du conidre. Uh, the Twilight Before Conidre Begins. So this is, um, again, referencing the, the Conidre theme that we know that was made famous by Max Bruch in its, you know, maybe slightly varied form. Uh, this is a set of variations. There are nine variations. You won't be able to tell when it goes from variation to variation. It's very uh, unclear when a new variation starts. Uh, but you will hear the Conidre melody. Uh, and you'll also hear um, something that is a kind of a variant, which sounds sort of like blocks of sound. And that happens immediately after the initial conidre melody is heard at the beginning. And you'll hear that also returning through the piece. This is Crepuscule du Conidre by Gracian Finci. <laughs>
That was Crepuscule du Colmidre by Gracian Finzi. The next piece <coughs> is called Kaddish. It's by Dan Reiter. Uh, Kaddish is a few different things in a Jewish service, but kind of most known as the prayer for the dead. It is said when someone passes away. Uh, it is said at various times during the year when uh, Jews remember their, their dearly departed. Uh, and it is definitely a feature of the of the Yom Kippur service where we are thinking of our of our ancestors and those that we loved that are no longer with us. Uh, this particular Kaddish was first performed in 1993 on the day that the composer's father passed away. Um, and I am holding in my heart someone, I, I, I apologize for being vague, this is not my news to announce, uh, a member of the Portland musical community passed away yesterday. I'm not going to say the name because it hasn't been announced yet. Uh, for those of you in Portland, I'm sorry to be vague, vague booking, <laughs> but um, uh, it's, it is a shock to me and I'm, I am playing this Kaddish in this person's memory tonight. Uh, I will read you what the composer wrote. Kaddish is a conversation between the player and God Questioning pass passages go unanswered. Anger, pleading, and sadness also have no response. A feeling of resignation emerges. Perhaps the answers were always there hidden in the emotions. The final cadence leaves a reminder that we live with the questions forever. This is Kaddish by Dan Reiter.
Atlas Kaddish by Dan Reiter. And the final piece on the program, the ending, is also a beginning. This is a piece called Breshit by Iris Azkeneza. She is a Spanish cellist and composer. And Breshit is the Hebrew word for Genesis, the first book of the Bible, of the Torah. Uh, and at this time of year, in about 10 days, we turn uh, the Torah, we come, we come full circle with the Torah and we, we begin again at the beginning. So this is uh, just a reference to the cyclical nature of life. We are uh, back in our cycle about to begin as we end. Um, and one thing that I think you'll notice, this is a, quite a raw piece. I think she really captures the, the birth of the earth, this, the heartbeat of life emerging uh, out, of the, out of the nothingness. This is Breshit by Iris Azkenezer.
I was Rishi by Edith Askenazer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm a little dry. Gemar Chatima Tava, for those of you who are observing Yom Kippur, whether you see this program before or after Yom Kippur. And I'm just going to look at some of the comments in case there's anything. Oh, it's very nice. Thank you so much. I have so many friends and colleagues um, here. Thank you so, so, so much for listening. Um, and I know some of the composers are listening as well. I really appreciate you guys. I'm going to continue to do these live streams because they feed my soul. And I'm so, so glad that um, other people are finding them interesting. The next one's November 1st, which, as you know, is All Saints Day. And it's also the day after Halloween. And that program will be called Saints and Spirits and we'll have appropriate kind of music for those two holidays. So I hope to see you then. Thank you so much for listening.